Well, I'm here in the Dillon Hotel to meet X Factor judge and friend of the show, Louis Walsh, who's going to fill us in on all of the Irish auditions. One, two, three. The X Factor producers have officially landed in Dublin this weekend for their first round of auditions. And Louis has said he expects to find the next big thing as Ireland has the most talented people. I think there's so much talent in Ireland, undiscovered, and this is such a big opportunity. Look at a little mix, you know, the biggest girl band around. Look at One Direction there with the biggest boy band around. Look at James Arthur, look at Ollie Murs. This is an amazing chance for somebody who's probably watching your show. So tell them to get off their ass and go to St. Stephen's Green, where they're at Sunday and then they're going to Belfast, they're going to Limerick I think, they're, they're, they're in Ireland anyway, they're all around Ireland and it's a great chance for somebody. Okay, so you heard it here first heard from it here. the man himself. You heard it here first, this could change your life, you must have talent, you must have personality and you must be prepared to work hard. That's what the actually You must have does. talent. Yeah. You must have a little bit of talent, yeah, you know. <laughs> like you said to me years ago, can you sing? No, I haven't a note in my head. Brilliant, you'd be huge. Put you in a girl band. It's perfect. Listen, tell us about the panel this year. You guys are not going to come to Dublin, though, and do the auditions, no? We don't know is the honest answer. I don't know who's back. I know I'm back. Yeah. That's most important. I got a three-year deal. Uh, I know Dermot's back. I know Simon's back. Um, I'm hoping it's the other two. I'm hoping it's Sharon. I'm sure she's going to do it, though she did hurt her back recently. I'm hoping she's going to do it, and we would love Nicole. We love Nicole. Yeah, fantastic. That's she's the, always a bit of fun. That's the dream team for me and I'll, it's not really like work then you know but honestly Glenda there's somebody watching this or maybe somebody's mother who has a son who's got talent or a daughter tell them to go to St Stephen's Green they have nothing to lose the mothers are always the best aren't they over the years you've found mothers are always great at pushing their kids mothers home. grannies you know sisters there's always somebody in the family that thinks my my daughter or my son has talent they this this could change their lives and it could absolutely could change their lives okay what about the Eurovision Brendan, you're sending him off this year. How excited are you about this? Brendan is just the nicest kid and he's got this most amazing high voice. He's got a very unique voice. We've got a great song. Now all we have to do is qualify. You know? Eurovision was something that you've been so close to for years and years, but you're going back to it now. You haven't been part of it for years, have you? I haven't been part of it for... But I was there with Johnny Logan when he won twice and I was there with Jedward twice. I was there with Linda Martin when she won. But it's changed, to see. And there's an awful lot of Eastern countries and they take it very serious and they all vote for each other. What do you other. think we're missing? Why do you think we haven't won in so long? I think... I don't know why. I honestly don't know the answer. I think we've picked a great song and a great singer this year. For more information on the X Factor auditions, log on to application.xfactor.tv.